My name is Emerson King and I'm the owner and creator of Adventures of Farmer King YouTube channel. Can you spot the difference between the two arms right there? You know, like one's got a hole that's humongous and the one has a smaller hole. The one with the smaller hole is the proper one with all the bushings in it. And the one that we just took off has no bushings in it. And I'm surprised with the amount of rust and salt that was in the thing it was even holding together. You gonna tell them what day it is? Can we guess what day it is? Harvest Eve. Tomorrow we go. That's the plan. Our whiteboard is empty. Once we get this on, we should be ready. Gotta I guess go so. to bed early and not wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't get up early to go before the sun comes up. Why? Wow. It's harvest eve. <laughs> harvest claws. <laughs> Christopher corn. You know, people tell me all the time with the talents that I have and the abilities that I've been gifted from the Lord that I should just go to school and be an electrician or be an operator or do this and that. You know, don't get me wrong, I've listened to their opinions and I've thought about that. But then at the same time, where's the fun in that? I want to take something that I can look at and say, I took it at this level and I built it over the years all the way up to this level to make it this. I want to build something a brand, a YouTube channel, a farm that is basically known over the internet on YouTube. And to do that, you have to start somewhere. Pro tip when you always use the auger, make sure you run it before you put the trailer underneath there because the bird nest usually comes out. And we actually did that before we put the auger under there. And if you look right underneath the tire there, on the first axle, the bird nest is underneath the tire. Second tip that we're gonna check before we harvest. Well, I gotta climb up in there. Make sure your traps are closed on the trailer or not, it's not gonna be a good day. Look at our cute little grain farming operation over there. Ain't it just adorable? It's almost like an exact replica of what we have. I want to put the work in now, so that way when I am 50 years old, I am 60 years old, I can afford to have workers and work on my farm and that way I can sit back and I can be there if I need it, but I can also go out and be relaxed and I can go run my nice equipment and not have to worry about coming back to the shop at 8.30 after running the combine all day and getting a tractor and going to bush hall till 11.30 at night. You just, you have to start little and build yourself up high. Well, I guess I better put my toys back up or not they may get ran over. We got had our first breakdown of the season. Look, the chain is off the sprockets and it just happens to be the chain for the elevator taking the grain up to the grain tank. That's no good. And we can't get the chain back on the sprocket because right behind one of these sprockets is a piece of auger that is holding the chain down from getting onto the sprocket. So we're gonna fix it with our handy grind. There you go, it's gone. It will cause no more issues. Guys, 
guys, I deeply apologize. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and I ain't told you. Welcome to Harvest 2023, ladies and gentlemen. We are going. Cornethia, she is out there, and she is rolling. Well, not right now. I'm getting ready to take over. My mom is sitting in there waiting for me. She wants to ride, and my dad just took our first load of corn off. So, it's time, ladies and gentlemen. We are full swing in the Harvest 2023. When we get to our bigger fields, I got something I want to add on to the combine. An American flag. Seems like every farmer has an American flag on there. But we don't do it in these fields because you see all the trees in this area. You know, like the trees that rip American flags to the ground type trees. Yeah, see, that's why we don't do it. As always, Cornethia is running perfect. We had just some minor adjustments to do to it to get a better sample of corn. But Cornethia, the reason she's named Cornethia is because, boy, she can eat some corn and she does a good job. A really impressive job on cleaning corn. Don't look at this area right here where the corn got, well, it ran out of water. We'll put it that way. You know, out there, it's a lot better. Just not right here. But everybody in life has different dreams. Mine is to be a farmer and run my own farm when I'm older and have a YouTube channel that is very successful. I want to be prepared for my life 20 years down the road before I ever get there. I want to know what I'm doing next year, what I'm going to do financially next year, how am I going to make money. I want to build all that right now so that way I have the future the rest of my life. We are hauling grain. We just got our first truck load done. It was right over a thousand bushels. We had a 59 flat test rate. And don't mind the dirt on my face. I don't even know how it happens. Like, I'm just touching the steering wheels. That's it. Like, I don't, and we keep the cabs clean. It's just unbelievable. It's looking like it's averaging, which these fields are hilly. The fields that we are on is just our home farm, like around our house, and they are heel ground, and they haven't been in crop production very long, so we don't expect much out of them. The best we've ever gotten out of an average is 135, and this year we're averaging about 138 so far, so it's an average year, but with the spring we had, with the cold, wet, damp weather for so long, and us using the pit bile, if we got an average year, we consider the pivot bile working. So, so far we are running an average year, but it's also a little disappointing because you put all the work into it, all the money into it, and you still just get an average year. No matter what the circumstances are, you still just get an average year. But that's part of it. One of my good friends always says, farming is the definition of gambling. We finished our first day, mainly just because Purdue closed, so we can't take no more corn off. What's your review on how it's going so far? The yield monitor halfway worked. We can't calibrate it, but it's not exact. It's working. At least you can see where, well, it's not too hard to see where the bad spots are in the field. <laughs> so we have to think back how was the spring? Because the yields are average for what they've always been. Maybe a little bit above, so it's been a Good day. Blessed to be able to do what we do and what we have. And we only broke down once. The tractor only blew one cold and the combine only jumped one chain off the sprocket. What decision do you want to make? This is important. Nobody likes being harvest, but it has to be done. <laughs> I think we look at the weather and then we may switch over to beans, even though I don't want to. I don't want to swap and have to swap back. Long story short is, at the end of this week, we have rain coming. And we're not sure if we can get our beans done after we get our corn done. And corn, you can run while it rains, or not while it's raining, but if the ground is wet, just do, because beans pick up moisture, corn doesn't. And we're a one truck show. Yeah, we don't have six semis rolling up like the so. Larsons. So we get, we're a one truck, one combine show, one grain cart. So we're not as expedient to, you know, it's probably going to take us two days to do this beans for at least, and we won't get done with corn until at least, at the earliest Tuesday. So And rain's coming on Friday. And right? if that rain pushes up, then 
which I haven't checked today and tomorrow he may have took the rain out but who really trusts the weatherman <laughs> I mean a job you get paid to do wrong yeah I mean who really trusts it so I feel like we swap over and get these beans knocked out and then we'll get that corn you know it's a lot easier to get corn I'll just be honest, if you look at our farm, in order for our row cropping part of the farm to sustain for a, and provide for a family, it pretty much needs to quadruple in size. And I believe mentally that I have to set a mindset in my head that failure is not an option. Then years down the road, if I ever have kids and they ask me why I gave up on my dreams, I don't want to have to be the dad to tell them that I gave up because it got too hard what kind of role model would I be. But what I can promise you is that I'll give it my heart and I'll never give up. I am mentally and physically committed to doing this. If it's the Lord's will, it'll be done, and I believe with the Lord's will, if it's in the path for me to be able to be a successful farmer and a farmer full-time, and a bunch of hard work and commitment and time, eventually, it will pay off. I do know that nothing is impossible, and I'll make sure that I prove that once again. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember, faith, family, farming. See you in the next one.